Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, creating this cutting a ribbon uh, animation. You can see this is what we have. Yeah, I think it's a cool animation and uh, you can learn a few things uh, from it. So yeah, let's go in and get started. So I'll just open up a new blend file and then add a plane, a scale it in that axis. Just create a ribbon, rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. Move that uh, to that position. Let's, let's make it slim. And now we need uh, to add a few polygons here. So that we can have enough polygons uh, for the simulation. So something like that. And now uh, if we go to the cloth to the physics uh, tab, we can add cloth modifier. And uh, if we play back, this will just fall down. And uh, we need to add a vertex group uh, that we can use uh, for the pinning. So I'm going to select uh, these edge vertices and then uh, create a new vertex group, assign a weight of one. And then in the cloth uh, simulation, I, I can go under shape and then select uh, the group we have just created as the pinning group. Now, if we, if I play back, you can see this just falls down like that. Now, let me smooth have this a bit. Now we have our ribbon. Now the problem with this ribbon, if you look at it in this uh, direction, is too flat. You can see how it looks here, and uh, ribbons are always twisted, uh, like you see in the example here. You can see how this is twisted. So we need to give it uh, that twist. So to do that, I can go to the project. I uh, we need to give to kind of find a way to twist uh, these edges uh, so that uh, that twist is transformed uh, through uh, the entire cloth. Uh, but uh, you can use uh, I think I don't know if you can use shape keys, but uh, that's not what I use. And I think uh, shape keys are a bit of a pain. So I'm just going to add uh, a hook. And the way you do that, I just hold on Ctrl H to add a new hook. And uh, when you bend, when you rotate or scale, when you transform this hook, uh, that transformation will be translated to uh, the to the vertices you hooked that you hooked uh, that uh, uh, that hook to. So let's also do it on this side. Add a new hook object and. Uh, can see we get uh, the same results now this might be a bit too long I don't know does it yeah you know that's okay but uh, yeah so then to twist this I uh, we need to animate these are rotating so I'll select both of them uh, add a keyframe for the start and uh, go to around for flame 30 and rotate them on the X on the Y axis a bit like that and uh, you can see they are twisting uh, the problem is they are twisting in the same direction uh, so we need to kind of uh, have this rotate on the opposite direction so I'm, I'm just going to scale these on the X axis until they flip around uh, for one of the hooks and now that should mirror uh, the animation like so uh, the problem we are having is that uh, the twist is not being transformed into uh, throughout the cloth it's just uh, the vertices we had selected so you can select this mesh and uh, under the uh, modifiers are uh, this modify this under yeah under these mesh modifiers you can see the hooks we added uh, the reason why these hooks are not being considered in the Cloth modifier, or why this uh, twist is not being transformed through uh, the cloth. The cloth is that uh, uh, Blender's modifiers work in a hierarchy of work in a top-down hierarchy. Uh, so the modifier app doesn't consider any modifiers below, and uh, only the modifiers below uh, will consider the modifiers app. So because the cloth modifier is above uh, the hooks, it's not adding any of the deformations created by the modifiers below. So we need to push this to the bottom so that any deformations that are created by these hooks 
are also considered by the cloth modifier. So if we play back this, you can see how we're starting to get a uh, twist in the cloth, like so. So the reason why we're seeing uh, this going on here is because we don't have any self collision as set up for the cloth. You can go in and uh, set that up. So if I go to collisions, uh, we have self collision, and uh, that should reduce or remove uh, that sort of thing uh, that was going on here. You can see. I think now we can even twist this a bit even further. So, uh, also, if you go to uh, the cloth modifier again under the hooks, you can increase the fall off strength uh, for uh, uh, the radius, the fall off radius uh, for these hooks so that they can also influence any of the vertices uh, next to the vertices uh, they are hooked to. And uh, that should give you a better uh, twist. Yeah, so. You can play around with those settings and, and until you get something more interesting, but uh, this is not the, the purpose of the tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is just to cut uh, this ribbon. So the way we're going to do that is I uh, use uh, uh, the Boolean modifier. So let's add an, an, a Boolean object that we're going to be using. So I'll just add a plane like this. And uh, let me go to the uh, set display settings and uh, in the viewport display, turn this to wireframe so that we can easily see what is going on. I'm also going to animate this moving up like that. And now, if we go to the select this and uh, give it a boolean ob a boolean modifier, select this as the boolean. You can see how it's cutting through uh, the clothes and uh, make sure the operation is set to uh, difference. You can see as this falls it it is cut through by this but uh, again for the same reason why the hooks were not being uh, considered in the animation uh, the boolean is also not considered in the cloth simulation because it's under uh, the cloth modifier so if we want it to be considered in the simulation we need to have it above uh, the cloth modifier now if we play this back Now, what is going on here can be quite a mystery. So, we have added it up, but now it's no longer being it's no longer being it's no longer cutting through uh, the the cloth. Uh, now, this is a kind of a catch twenty two here. So, the boolean. Uh, so, the reason why the the cloth modifier was not considering the boolean uh, in the first instance. Uh, is because uh, the boolean was below uh, the cloth modifier, and uh, that's why the uh, the mesh was cutting, but uh, the simulation was not putting that into consideration. It wasn't breaking apart uh, the cloth, or it wasn't doing anything. Uh, and uh, now we have put the boolean above uh, the cloth modifier to be considered by the cloth simulation, but. Uh, now the, the boolean, because it's above uh, the cloth modifier, it doesn't consider the uh, the cloth modifier in its operation. Uh, so here is our rest position in the, for the cloth. Uh, if you move this above, you can see we are getting a cut uh, there. But uh, if we put it just a few centimeters below, and let the let me first remove these keys and let the simulation take place you see nothing happens to it because to the boolean this is not happening uh, the it doesn't it's not aware of uh, the cloth simulation and uh, the deformation created by the cloth simulation so for the boolean uh, this here this mesh uh, the cloth here is still at its rest position because it's not aware of uh, the simulation going on here uh, because the cloth simulation is below it. Uh, now, what you would have to do is uh, kind of animate this or extend uh, the boolean to be tall enough to cut through uh, the top section like that. So now I need 
have this animated uh, from say this frame here and uh, when we get to this frame it should extend so that it cuts through uh, the the rest position that was around uh, around here so you animate it until it cuts through uh, the rest position are uh, not this deformation created by the cloth simulation because it's not it's not aware of the cloth uh, simulation so let's see how that goes and see it's not cutting anything until it gets to that point but uh, we are getting a few problems again here and uh, the reason could be that uh, uh, because we have set uh, the uh, the boolean operation to difference uh, when this goes you no know actually let's see let's see i think it's just an error in the simulation maybe it's a bug or something or what might be going on is that uh, after this cloth goes is cut between and uh, because this is a difference modifier uh, this is no longer intersecting with the uh, with because it's cut uh, this is no longer being intersecting with the cloth simulation sorry with the cloth and uh, this here goes back to be welded and uh, then we get that Kind of error going on where well, blender doesn't know what to do like that so i uh, what i did in, in my version you can see we don't get any of that problem and uh, uh the scissor cuts when you can see if i show you the boolean i used it's just it's not cutting through the rest position it's just cutting where the, uh, the cloth is uh, so what i did is it's a, a ribbon like this a straight ribbon like this i uh, kind of looks weird uh, anyway so what i did is i simulated before i even use the boolean i simulated this to a rest position uh, that looked good uh, somewhere like here somewhere like that and i applied uh, the cloth simulation uh, I can see we no longer have uh, the animation and water. Now you can even remove uh, the hooks if you want because uh, they're not needed anymore uh, since the twist is already has already been implemented. Uh, so now if you after you have the resposition as uh, that, uh, we can now again add uh, the cloth simulation and uh, from there it will start using this as its resposition and uh, the boolean can now cut through uh, that resposition like that. Uh, but uh, we need to set up the pinning group as well uh, so that this can stick uh, to uh, the poles and uh, so if we bring uh, the boolean back switch on the boolean again and see it doesn't have to go up here and we're no longer getting that i can see after the boolean goes through the mesh uh, we start getting that weird artifact so what i'm going to do is uh, come here extend this below so that the boolean is always going through uh, the cloth no matter what and you can see now that falls off uh, to make this even in more interesting at the position where the boolean is cutting i'm just going to select those uh, faces and subdivide them a bit more uh, so that we have more resolution uh, for the cloth uh, to cut through there and uh, you can add a plane give it a collision of a collision modifier uh, so that it can collide I think the rest position of this is a bit is too low but uh you can change it maybe move the cloth a bit uh, a bit higher a bit higher like that uh make 
sure it doesn't have any animation to it. Yeah, so that's how you tear cloth, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, so you can see for the scissors, uh, this, this was faking things. Uh, I just, I didn't use the scissors to do anything, uh, just to kind of, for visual presentation to show that uh, something was working here. But uh, uh, I just animated them to kind of uh, part around where the, the booty game was. To give the impression that uh, it was the scissors that we are cutting. Uh, if you want to get uh, the scissors, the model uh, for the scissors, you can just go to my uh, CG Trader account, uh, which is uh, cgtrader.com stroke Ismail's VFX, and uh, check out the other models that I have there. And uh, if you want, you can uh, download any of them. Uh, if you will somehow support me in paying the bills and uh, continuing doing what I'm doing right now. So, yeah, thank you for watching.